The Bible talks about the law of God. Now I want you to think about that phrase for just a moment, the law of God. If it sounds to you like it used to sound to me, it sounds very heavy, very authoritarian, the law. It sounds like rules and ordinances and strictures and don't do this and be sure you avoid this. But as I've come to understand this idea of God's law better and more biblically, a more beautiful, well-rounded and positive picture emerges. In fact, the Bible says that God's law is a law of love. On one occasion, Jesus was asked by uh, an individual, what is the great commandment in the law? That is to say, what's the best and most important commandment in the Old Testament? And Jesus says, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul. The second is like it, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Now, I want you to think about that for just a moment. Jesus was asked the question, what's the most important law in the Old Testament? And Jesus' first three words are, you shall love. <laughs> when we think about the word law, the, the first word that comes to mind is not usually love, but this is exactly the word that came to Jesus' mind because the essence of God's law is in fact love. Now, when we look at the, the first four of the Ten Commandments, Jesus said the great commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul. It's very interesting the picture that emerges. Let me just walk you through it quickly. The first commandment says, you shall have no other gods before me. Now think about that word, to have. To have reminds me of the day that I was married, April 4th, 1999. And one of the things that the minister said to my wife and I was, do you take this man to have and to hold, and to me, do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold. To have means to give your affections to, to have, to keep, to hold near. The second commandment is you shall not make any graven images. Don't bow down. Now that's an interesting one because what is it that you use to bow down with? Well, it's your body. What would you use to make an idol? That would be your body. And so here God is saying, don't use your body to give honor and affection to something else. Give me your honor and affection. I want your body as well. And then the third commandment, you will not take my name. Don't take the name of the Lord in vain. And what is it that we would use to take God's name in vain? Well, it would be our mouth, right? We would be saying one thing and doing another. What is God saying here? He's saying, I want your words. And then the fourth of the Ten Commandments, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days you shall labor and do all your work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord. What's the Sabbath all about? It's all about time. Now think about those just first four commandments. God says, I want your affections, I want your body, I want your words, and I want your time. When someone has our affections, when someone has our body, when someone has our words, and when someone has our time, that is the stuff of love. No wonder that this book says exactly that, that the great commandment, the most important commandment, is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself.